Hello and welcome to today's video. Uh, a few people have requested this video, so I'm going to put it up. Um, wanted to see how do I fit an Android system in the Waxel Astro J. So I fitted this in a while back now, and um, it's been good. It's got navigation on it. It's got a reverse camera. All of that system is, you know, within this Android system. Well, obviously it's a bit blurry because my car's been parked up because I was involved in an accident, so I've left the car parked up. So to fit one of these in, um, what you have to do is you use, you have a, a metal, well, a casing that goes on top of here to cover all of the gaps from the side. So what I've done is I've taken that off. That's very really easy to do. You have to remove this first, lift it up, and underneath here are one and two um, screws being there. You take them torque screws out and you pull it up from there. Pull it up, pull it up from the sides, pull it up and lift it up, upwards and out. And that should come off. And then you're left with this. That's in there. Then again, that has another four bolts. Uh, which go in there. So here it is, there's one there, there's one there, there's one there, and there's one there. So once you get that off, you come back down to having this. This is connected in today. You should have a connection in there, um, and a connection up there. Take that off and put it to the side. Then simply you remove the um, you remove this you remove this and you remove that. All you're changing is um, I'm sure it's both of them. Change this and you change that. You just whatever wires you take out from here. Well, you're gonna have a big chunk behind it. Aren't you? Let's dig in. Let's just dig in. So here we go. I pull that out. Side to way. So basically, you get this connector block for this device. This connector block is for this device. Now, for the old one, you're going to have to take it off. This is a chunk of a block. So you're going to have to take this off and leave the main one that's coming out from the vehicle's um, loom. You leave that one in there. You get this block, you fit it in, and then simply you got these connections. They come wired up, you just need slotting in. The only thing that will need um, wiring is the reverse camera, which goes into your reverse light. You would have to find a light for your reverse light and attach it in. Bring the wire around and connect it to let's find it to this. So you just want to connect it to that, and um, yeah, that's about it. That's all you need to wire in. But I find one thing hard about this is once you take it out, they give you so much wires in this that it's hard to put back together. So you want to put this on that side some of the wires can go on to that side but trust me it does go back together right another problem that i had with this was um the indicator sounds um they wouldn't appear um i lost the uh, you know all the buttons for the radio and all of that that are on the other system um, it was due to this this comes with the package but forgot to put it on so that's why the indicators uh, sound was not working um, any other beeping sound like if your seatbelt isn't on that will not work if 
this one little thing is not connected it's another speaker that you attach somewhere which I've attached over there so the system itself is just this basically um, you've got navigation that you can um, put on uh, radio DVR music video um, you can connect your phone to it through Bluetooth um, aux you can save files onto the device you've got a memory card, memory card slot here um, let's have a look wheel keys you can set up your wheel keys for the steering wheel it does connect it does i confirm it does connect uh, calculator dvd youtube it's got the essentials um a to dp is the bluetooth that you use to connect your phone to the device but play music on ajx that's something to do with the software bluetooth chrome you can easily go to Chrome, so, uh, web browse, uh, clock, DVD, DVR again. iGo is another navigation system. It's got Google Maps, Play Store. You can download your favorite apps. You can even play a game in the car. So yeah, it's got vehicle information, and that's about it. But if your car doesn't have a navigation system I think it's worth it it cost you about 150 roughly but at the end it works out it's a good piece of kit to have so yeah CD player still works all of that still works so I'm just going to put this back together then I'll end the video thank you for watching so um, what I was going to say was obviously you must have heard the car's been involved in an accident so it's off-road it is on for sale um i'll probably sell it within two weeks after i've taken my private number plate off it so once the plate is off the car it will be sold within two weeks um it's a good car it's got a good engine in it good gearbox it needs attention to the bodywork but obviously that can be taken care of at a certain price obviously but it will be classed as a cat s so i don't know how much i'm going to sell it for at the moment but i know these cars are wanted and people buy them quite quickly i remember when i purchased it there were like six seven people looking at it that was two years ago but the thing is that even if you go to view another Astra or you know one of the sport versions of these you'll have a few people looking at them because the one they're cheap well they're fairly priced just say and two the good cars I've had no complaints within the two years service it, maintained it and it's looked after me unfortunately it's been involved in an accident so it's got to go I don't like a car that's been involved in an accident anyways um, I'm looking at a few other cars um, Seat Leon VW Golf Astra J again I wouldn't really mind um, or a sport version of this in petrol however my concern is I do a bit of mileage well obviously this car hasn't done that much for, for a 2013 it's just done that much but I want a car that's got good fuel economy because I don't want to be spending every penny on the fuel and um, I want to bring content to YouTube for, um, with the next car that I do buy so I want a car that you can easily maintain so we'll have a look but anyways thank you for watching and I hope to see you on the next one.